Welcome back to Canoe Live. You've probably heard that contest on the radio or TV and thought, why bother? I never win anything. Well, one Oshawa woman will offer you some optimism in her book, You Can't Win If You Don't Enter. And we're lucky to have the author of that book and contest queen, Carolyn Woolman, with us tonight. Carolyn, thanks for being here. Oh, you're welcome. I'm happy to be here. Well, Carolyn, just how successful have you been? A pretty successful. On average, I win 5 to 15 contests every month. And over the past five years, uh, almost $100,000 in prizes. That's incredible. How long have you been doing this? Uh, off and on, sporadically for 20, but 20 on a daily years. basis for five years. Do you consider yourself lucky? or I mean, how do you do it? I consider myself very lucky. <laughs> and I live by the premise, what a man thinketh, he becomes. So if I think I'm lucky, I become lucky. I actually have a section on my website to teach people how to become lucky. Well, explain it. I mean, give us some tips. First, you have to think you're lucky. You need to think positive. You need to expect to win. You know those people that say, well, I never win. You won't win. You need to think you'll win. You need to enter, enter, enter. I enter hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of contests, and I only win one or two. It's, an, it's a numbers game. The more you enter, the more you win. What's the most expensive prize you've won? Actually, the most expensive prize I won was a trip for four for my niece. And she oh. took her family on a vacation. It was really neat because they had never afforded a family vacation. And it was, they'll never forget the trip to New York they had. Well, how many trips have you won? I've won nine trips in five years. And the best trip we won was a trip last December to Hogwarts. <laughs> We got to go to Leaveston Studios. We had a feast in the Great Hall on the Harry Potter set, and I have a picture of me in Dumbledore's chair. Yes, we just saw that. And you've met several celebrities as well. Tell us about that. The first one that was a real surprise was Sting. That was amazing, and I was really lucky to meet Michael Bublé. And, and do you, you obviously get to share your winnings with your families and, and your, your family and friends. Yes, one of the nice things about the hobby is I can enter not just me, but I can enter my husband or my friends, and sometimes their names get picked. And my husband, who's a huge race fan, got to go down to the Molson uh, Grand Prix and go around the track in a pace car. Uh, you actually go to sweepstakes conventions in the States with your sweeping buddies. What exactly happens at these gatherings? What's really neat, and I started four clubs here in Canada, is that we get together and it's a fellowship and the enthusiasm and we trade tips and we get all excited and we give hints on how to win and it's just passing on the lucky energy back and forth between us. Now you gave us some advice earlier but any other tips that you have for people who want to become a contest hobbyist? Just enter it only takes one to win. And, and do you do anything special? I mean like when, when you do radio contests do you uh, have like a special phone that dials con constantly? I do actually. Do we got a new phone system for the house and the redial was horribly <laughs> slow. So I dug out this really old phone that we had had a redial. And I have this long extension cord that goes from wow. one room to the other so I can sit there and try and dial in when, I, when I'm at work. So technology oh helps then. <laughs> the technology helps. Real quickly, what's the one thing you're still looking to win? I would like to win a car. Okay. <laughs> well, and maybe I'll be lucky and you guys will call me from the sun. All right, we'll work on that. <laughs> Carolyn, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, and again, the book is If You, uh, if you Can't Win If You Don't Enter.